we don't realize that everyone is an individual everyone has things going on for them or things that govern their lives so just as concrete as your expectations are and not ready to budge that's kind of how other people's ones are so be also be accepting when things don't go your way especially when it's hinged on other people cooperating with your delusion let's keep going hey gems welcome back to another video i have another abra and preach one and it looks like we have an honest feminist queen so yeah we're just gonna jump right into it if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit the thumbs up and obviously hit the subscribe button as well let's go y'all it is wild out here it is wild being a woman because listen i am one million percent for women's rights okay i think about it actually all the time i have two daughters um but what i also think about a lot of the times is that like i don't want to do it anyway <laughs> you know like okay. i'm glad that we now can drive cars but i don't want to drive i don't want to drive but i don't want you telling me i can't do it i also don't want you to do something because i'm a woman thinking that i can't do it myself um okay. but then it, i think it's you should do it for me like when I'm unloading something from the car that's heavy and, and, and a man sees me unloading it, like I, I I don't want him to assume that I can't do it on my own. Okay. But if he doesn't help me, <laughs> that was rude. What? That was really rude because I don't want to do it by myself. And it was heavy. You know, th there's a problem. There's a problem. This is a problem. Hold I'm on. A so she's just saying a random man or her husband? Because if it's a random man, why should he really care? And to be fair, what if? Like, what if you're a psycho and he's just randomly helping people with your stuff what is your demeanor like whilst you're taking the stuff out are you huffing and puffing you know how about you ask them you know and if it's your husband again has he tried in the past to help you and what was your response then were you more like i can do it all by myself then don't be surprised when they allow you to do it all by yourself and sometimes maybe it hasn't gone down that route just ask for help, ladies. <laughs> it, 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 what is the qualm here? What is the problem? I'm not really seeing the issue. It's as if she has all these uh, like standards and lists of things and she's just projecting it onto whoever it is um, or expectations, should I say, and not really be verbalizing it, but then being irritated and labeling it as rude and disrespectful when she doesn't receive the things that she wants sounds like a child admitting that and the first step is admitting that you have a problem also like do not think for me i can think on my own okay but please don't ask because i don't want to use my brain i don't want to use it ah. i don't want to use it but i want to have the ability to it is confused it is wow no you are confusing. being a woman is crazy no no crazy. just you or maybe i'm just crazy but yeah just way. you she's 100 percent right it is crazy 100 percent you want all those things, but you also don't want to do none of those things. I get it. It's a child. Confusing as fuck, and it's wild to be a woman. Imagine dealing with you. Imagine. Them girls. You got to know how to navigate. Hence the reason why men shut the fuck up most of the time. What you thinking? <laughs> One, I'm not thinking about nothing. And I don't Two, want to but think. But also... There's no right answer here. Mm. None. So, yeah. Agree. It is wild. And I can understand that. You, you want to be able to... I, you want to be able to know that you, you can't pay the bill. I'm just getting ready But we're cook. not going to split that bill. Mm. But I can pay it. I can. Okay. But, but I don't want to. I understand. Uh -huh. It's called choices. It's, it's real. It's real shit. Yeah. You ever feel that way about being like a well, stay at home? Before he gets in there, she has these rigid and it's not even rigid. She has these standards, expectations, whatever. But it's like somewhere in the brain, they don't realize that other people also have these things. They have their own agency, things that principles that rule and govern, uh, govern them. And those expectations and standards will also stop them from doing things for you, okay? Or it will affect how they approach or communicate or whatever with you or interact with someone like you. We don't realize that everyone is an individual. Everyone has things going on for them or things that govern their lives. 
So just as concrete as your expectations are and not ready to budge, that's kind of how other people's ones are. So be also be accepting when things don't go your way, especially when it's hinged on other people cooperating with your delusion. Let's keep going. That, like you want the ability to be able to do it, but you don't want to do it. You don't, you don't, do not put me in a box. What? I want to go in that box. Mm-hmm. But don't tell me I should go in that box. Mm. I'll go in that box if I want to be in that box. Facts. You know, but I, you're I, not going to tell me. No, I feel that. It's like when you're about to go wash the dishes. I saw a meme. And then someone's like, can you wash the dishes or go wash the dishes? Even though you were going to go do it. Now you're pissed off that you've been told that you should go do it. That's kind of what the other one. I just love them together. It's so funny. That way. I feel that way about being a provider. I don't mind providing for a lady. But don't tell but me. Don't, don't tell, tell me. me. But, but yeah, you, yeah, don't tell me. It's like, it's like you know what I'm I mean? yeah. But don't come up with your house. Yeah, I, 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 I mean, I should pay. Assuming that you. Today is it one. I think she's We might all know it. But bitch, you ain't got to say it because it's disrespect. If you mm. shut the fuck up about it, I'll gladly do it. It's yeah. like, I don't, I don't tell my girl to make me a sandwich in the kitchen. Because she likes me, she does. Mm. Yeah. But it's just rude to be like, yo, go in the fucking kitchen, make me a sandwich. Or even, <laughs> even, even worse, she goes, she makes a sense like, yeah, you're doing your job. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's whoa, fine. hey, whoa. But she's gonna be, I'm gonna go to the back, I'm gonna go to the, yeah. uh, I'm gonna go to the uh, kitchen, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make a sandwich. You want, me to you want a sandwich? Yeah. yeah, but I wanted a sandwich. <laughs> I don't have to say it. I don't have to be rude about it. So there's nothing wrong with what she says. I actually <laughs> think she's speaking what most people say. <laughs> and the title of this video is, oh my God, a woman just solved red pill. <laughs> That's not what it is. That's like in my left Yeah, I just <laughs> for no reason. Whether, but. whether it's social engineering, biological, or a mixture of both, I think a lot of us gravitate towards a lot of norms that mm. have been here pre the explosion of employment opportunities, birth control, and all these other things. So there's a lot of stuff that we still stick with when it comes to traditional values. And like mm. it's very conflicted because a lot of the messaging is we're breaking down these things. All this stuff. And I think it's great that we have the option to, but the truth is a lot of us still go back to a lot of those norms, even the most yeah. progressive places. You know, take my girl Destiny. She still pays for all the dates. Even though, you know, her and her wife or ex wife, you know what I mean, made a lot of money, but like she was still expected to pay because why? Even in the most progressive of areas, a lot of the people still stick to a lot of those same norms. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. It's, like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like, it's like, it's like human nature. Mm. If you're if you're stopped by the <laughs> police, take a biology. If you stop, if you're getting stopped by the police, why, why, you go stop by the or a security guard tells yo go over there. Ooh. If you if I push you, you're gonna be like, hey, don't fucking touch me. I was going. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna want to resist mm. doing that. You'll be like, hey, don't fucking push me. Mm. Like, yo, can you go over there, please? Yeah, yeah come on, I'm going. If you're being told, you're gonna be more mm. reluctant to go. Me personally, go I'm not like that because I'm a sigma male. So me when you push me, I'm like, thanks. Me for personally, you know. <laughs> 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 like, like, you know what I mean? Like, like, like I, any different vibe? Like, Oopsie. Like, like, I, like, I, 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 I go with it. I don't even fight it. Mm. <laughs> but I understand what you're saying for the regular alpha and betas. Go ahead. I was there. <laughs> that annoys me so much. When you went single man, that annoys me. Okay. <laughs> so much. Bro, that, I went over here and I went, uh, you disgusting human being. I just got, oh, thanks for the assistance. Uh, I went, G, kill yourself. <laughs> oh, oh boy! God. I apologize. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. You're fine. I'm I know done with you, my sick I know where, I, I, You I, like I, the you I, like I, the you like the trigger motherfucker or two. Mm. You're fine. It, 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 it's okay. You're good. You know. You know the red pill stuff is not actually the first time I heard about the sigma male stuff because I used to be oh. part of a fraternity called Sigma Sigma Sigma, and that fraternity talked about a lot of the alpha beta gamma stuff. Really? Oh, that's not noise. Never mind. Yeah. You know the symbol for sigma, right? Yeah. What is it? Uh, the symbol for sigma is, uh, well, sigma, the letter sigma. Is it not, um, the S like this with two lines? No, that's That's dollar sign. (laughs) (laughs) 
All right, let's finish this video. Figma looks like a pointy E, but whatever. All right, let's finish this video. Um, yes, so what would you... Not okay. <laughs> Not okay. Where the fuck is this going? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, bro? This is why I love them. Jesus Christ. I had some ketamine earlier. You had some ketamine? Bro, don't say it so loud. You said it so loud. We heard you when you said it. Well, what, when I that? said it's okay when you do it, it feels oppressive. It is. Okay, so. You do some K? Listen, I don't mind doing it. I don't like the way you're saying it when I do it. Oh, boy. See what you did there? Gotcha. I was a daddy. He did sure. that. <laughs> don't say that. They're going to run off and be like, oh, oh shit. They I'm already think we get high that. before every episode. Yeah. <laughs> That's so true. I'm I don't even smoke ever. <laughs> and they're like, whoa. Y'all must have been bunned out. Y'all so must have been bunned out. <laughs> Y'all haven't so. I had fun sober. Stupid. That's, that's, that's so fact. Yeah. You've been having a cognac bottle on your fucking desk for the past month. It hasn't even been no, open. No, no, no. It's been it open. hasn't even been open. Stop capping. You, it hasn't been a open. Little stop capping. Let's clearly open. Yeah, that's open. Okay. But it's been like that for the okay. past month. You know, sometimes I don't even drink it. You know what I do? I do. Sniff. Woo! <laughs> Why? What? Who does that? Not me. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not one of these ones. I want these. Ones. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know what the fuck that was. Me you know neither. Drinking, but, I'm not. Mm, um, what was that? The, none of those. Like, I'm drinking the none wine. None of those signs are universal. I understand. You know, Hannah. You know, how people drinking wine like this, and they're, like, mm, and they're so graceful. I mean, I do, but I spill a little bit on myself. Yes. Oh. Okay. I spill most of the things. So I'm an alcoholic drinker. All right, but I'm not graceful about it. I'm not cool about it. Okay, I just yeah, like, yeah, you both, yeah. Yeah. I think I understand the wanting the rights to be able to do something. She's not. Being told you can't. Plenty of things in the world that I don't want to be barred from. Not because it's me or anything like that, but because I just don't think it's right for people to be barred on any basis of mm. gender or whatever it might be. So, even though guys were probably hitting me up with this and be like, oh, ladies are crazy. Uh, I don't think it's that crazy. It's not that mm. crazy. It's not that crazy because there are some women who do really want to drive and do want to be able to get the cars and they should have the right to. And there are yeah. some women who do want to be CEOs and work and they should have the right to. Oh, Poe, right? have a field day All of them that. should have the ability to but as far as whether or not they want to exercise it, that's a whole different story. Right. Anything else you want to say? Like, I don't really want to go skydiving. But if I was told I couldn't, I'd be like, that's kind of stupid. Mm. You know, if they say, like, oh, only white people can go skydiving. Like, why? Mm. No, I wouldn't do it. Not that I want to go, but why can't we go? Mm. I want to sit in the back of the bus most of the time. Don't tell me to go there. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so, anyways, so that's it for today's video. Let us know what you guys think. Oh, preach. <laughs> oh. My name is Scott Harris. Oh, <laughs> Just listen. Love that. Ah, oh, nice and short and sweet. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed that. Let me know what you thought. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section as well. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button as well. Come join the family. But until next time, take care and God bless. Bye bye.